China Evergrande Group, the Chinese developer whose liquidity crisis has shaken the country's credit market, has defaulted for the first time on dollar debt. This has got many thinking about what's coming. In today's video, we'll tell you exactly that. But before that, make sure you press that red subscribe button along with that tiny bell icon to get updated every time we post new videos. Let's get started. Evergrande, a real estate giant with a presence in over 280 Chinese metropolises, was the most prominent developer to pay the price for the clampdown. The property titan's long-term foreign currency issuer default rating was cut to confined default at Fitch ratings, which cited missed dollar bond interest payments whose grace period expired on December 6. This recent development indicates the start of the end for the sprawling real estate conglomerate, which was started 25 years ago by founder Hui Kayan, setting off a lengthy battle over who gets paid of what remains. This is also a big threat to Chinese government's efforts to prevent property sector from facing a debt crisis due to widespread of COVID-19 pandemic. Authorities have made some progress with markets taking the most recent developer debt stumbles in their stride after a reserve ratio cut announced by the central bank. Evergrande has revealed more than $300 billion of total liabilities as of the month of June, as per the brief exchange form on December 3 that it plans to diligently engage with offshore creditors on a restructuring plan. The company is planning to include all of its offshore public bonds and private debt obligations in the restructuring, people familiar with the matter said separately. Bondholders of $19.2 billion in Evergrande dollar notes face deep haircuts as the company overhauls its mammoth balance sheet without a government bailout, a process that promised to be long, contentious, and potentially dangerous for Asia's largest economy. Some of Evergrande's dollar notes are trading in deeply disturbed territory at about 20 cents on the dollar. The key for bondholders is whether the company can speed up home deals and offload means. A slowdown in the Chinese real estate sector, which accounts for a significant proportion of the country's economic affair, could have ripple effects on global growth. But a default had long been anticipated, and fears over a Lehman moment, a reference to the Wall Street giant whose collapse urged fear worldwide during the 2008 global financial crisis, have failed to play out. That's because Chinese authorities have appeared doubtful to allow the kind of overnight collapse seen in 2008, with analysts suggesting instead that Beijing will oversee a controlled demolition of the establishment. Evergrande had formally warned that it may not be capable to meet its financial obligations, meaning the market had been bracing for the news. The Evergrande crisis has drawn parallels with government intervention in other obliged companies, especially aviation conglomerate HNA Group. HNA's restructuring didn't cause investor fear, although Evergrande's higher profile means this time will likely prove a bigger challenge. But whatever happens to Evergrande, Beijing's broader clampdown has already had a major impact on the property sector and deepened worries over key enterprises' financial health, bringing home deals and prices down. So that's all for today's video. Let us know your views in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.